Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sangeeta Terumalai. I am a consultant pediatrician and pediatric neurologist practicing at Thompson Hospital, Kota Damansara. Well, the dose is actually one third of the dose which the adults receive. So it's about 10 microgram per dose. Generally, COVID vaccination side effects are around the same and what we see in children and also in adults. Basically, ensure your child is well rested after the vaccine and if there's any fever, just give regular fever medications like paracetamol. And if you think your child is still unwell, please bring your child to visit his or her pediatrician. Okay, I think it's extremely important to vaccinate your precious little children against COVID-19. We now know that children is actually the population at risk because they remain the ones who are not vaccinated. And if they contract COVID-19 infection, they are at risk of getting long COVID syndrome and also the much dreaded MISC, which stands for Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome in Children. The one published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2022 by Walter et al. They studied around 2,268 children in America, Finland, Spain and Poland where a group of patients received the vaccine and a group of patients didn't. Now in the group of patients who received the vaccine, they found that the adverse events were minimal. These children had very good neutralizing antibody production and these children also had up to 90% protection against symptomatic COVID-19 infection. Dear parents and caregivers, please bring your children for their COVID-19 vaccine. Please get them registered through the MySDATERA app and you will get an appointment through the app. Just to let you know, Thompson Hospital Kota Damansara has started their Pick Kids program. So see you there.